Hello viewers, my name is Jordan Golson, and this is the new 2024 Lincoln Nautilus, which is Lincoln's luxury mid-sized SUV. And this is new for the 2024 model year, so it comes out late this year, most likely. And they've completely redesigned it. The outside looks really good, and the inside might look even better. They have a whole new thing called the Lincoln Embrace, which when you unlock the car, you get this sort of glowing thing coming out of the Lincoln logo, and then it swoops out to the sides, the daytime running lights, and comes back again. That is pretty cool. Here is the inside, which is pretty bonkers. And okay, so if we go back here a second, this all looks pretty normal, right? You've got uh, your big seats there, and okay, you get a screen in the middle and whatever. But then if you go back a little bit, you end up here, and let me show you what this looks like. There's actually an entire giant row of screens running across the middle. On the left-hand side, you have basically the regular dash cluster, right? And so you've got the speed over there and you've got your uh, maps and things like that. But then on the right-hand side in front of the passenger, you have a bunch of these other screens that normally would sit just here in the middle, right? But then they also sit up at the top. Like this is a quiet mode. So you can see across the top where there's not much in there and then you know, you can fill it in with different screens, and you can get the weather, you can get the time. Top left, you can see you get this very pretty looking, you know, dash cluster, and it's got your speed there, and then it's got the maps with Google Maps, which is nice, and then the weather and all that. But it's this huge wide screen going the entire length of the dash, and you can look right in front of the driver's steering wheel. It kind of has like a Tesla Model 3 look to it, where the vent strip is actually behind the steering wheel. Then in the middle here, this is some of the controls, and this is where they've really elevated, and they talked about this a lot. This is the black label Nautilus, so this is the top tier, most luxurious trim, and these are actual crystal controls here, and they have the same sort of crystal on the um, seat controls as well, which is pretty neat. And so uh, we can sort of scroll through this and they'll show us more of the interior. The leather's really nice, of course, on the black label, but it tops out at $75,000, which is not bad. Um, inside, you get the Revel audio system, and these all look really good, and this could be the inside of a Mercedes. And if I just showed you this picture right here, you, you really wouldn't know. A lot of mid-sized SUVs sort of all look the same, right? And they've somehow changed it up. This is the greeting when you walk up. And this is also what the daytime running lights look like. And so you got the glowing Lincoln logo at the front. That'll always be glowing. And then uh, all the other lights. And it looks really nice. And the back is the same way um, with how it's thing. And it just has like a side-to-side -side light that greets you um, going along. There is the two-tone roof. You can see that's a different color than the rest of the car. You've got the nice Nautilus logo there. And they say that this line running along the side of the car to the back, and then it sort of like gets wider at the back, is like a bird flapping its wings. And I don't know that that's entirely true. But you do have the same uh, sort of door handles that we found on the Lincoln Continental, which is now dearly departed, but that's kind of cool as well. And so Nautilus logo. And then this is what it looks like driving. And we'll just sort of run through this a little bit. It looks good. We haven't driven it yet, of course. There's the back. And here's something that's kind of interesting is the Lincoln logo here is actual letters suspended behind the little shield underneath this side to side tail light here. And then on the sides, you sort of have one, two, three, four, five little lights right there, the same as in the front. I do like the floating roof line. It looks like speedy. It looks luxurious. It's really good, and I don't know what you think about it in this sort of gray right here, but they do have this jet appearance, um, which is different from uh, the other one, and so here was it in bright red. These were the two colors that I saw it in. The red is very striking, and then again you have this um, dual color black roof and then red car. It's very interesting looking, and, you know, I can't really explain how much this doesn't feel like a Lincoln. Lincoln sort of seemed kind of stayed in recent years, and they are really elevating things with this. And I really like the black package. Um, a couple of the journalists that were there at the event did not like the black package. They really liked the, um, or the jet package, I believe it's called. They really liked the other one, whereas some people thought, oh, the red really pops. I like this thing. This is fantastic. 
So there is a good shot of the door handle, and there is the floating Lincoln letters in the tail light there. And so those, it's actually, you can't really tell, but these are covered up, so you can't like get into them and get snow in them and whatever. Uh, they're just kind of floating there, and that looks pretty cool. I really like the jet package here, and this is supposed to be like the sportier one, whereas the black label is a little more luxurious. And now we got this guy going out to his car, and he's smiling at it. He's looking all happy. And then here is the Lincoln embrace as he walks up, and the lights sort of glow, and then it comes back together. Oh, isn't that nice? And then he opens it up and gets to drive off. So uh, it's pretty cool. A lot of car companies are starting to do this and make uh, the LED lights sort of welcome you and greet you and things like that. And this has a glowing uh, Lincoln badge on the ground um, coming down from the windows. That's super common in luxury cars these days. So this is uh, this is what it looks like from the outside. I think it's fantastic. Let me know in the comments what you think. Here's what it looks like in the car when you turn it on. And you go, oh, look at that. It's all very pretty. It says Nautilus. And actually, this is a pretty good view. You can see right here, you got the start-stop button. That's kind of sitting there. And then all the vents are running right here behind the steering wheel. And if you do use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto or something, you can work that there. They are not getting rid of it, unlike GM, who has announced that they are discontinuing CarPlay and Android Auto in their EVs. And I'd imagine in the rest of the cars as well, unless everyone tells them it's a terrible idea, which it is. So here's the interior. It has Lincoln's 22-way adjustable front seats, back seats, lots of room back there. It's a two-row, so it is a pretty good-sized vehicle. And so let's go through a couple things here on the press release. A sanctuary for the senses, all-new Lincoln Nautilus debuts with reimagined blah, blah, blah. Uh, 2024, they noted that this is a very crowded category. Basically, every luxury car maker sells a car here. And that Lincoln has 2% of that market currently, and so... Any growth from 2% is going to be great, and I think they're going to do that uh, pretty solid here. Lincoln Rejuvenate, that's what they call their in-cabin experience. And the digital scenting here is interesting. There's actually three scents inside the cabin uh, that it can change between. And so uh, I, I can't remember what the three are, but there's like a, you know, a spring fresh one. There's three different ones. Um, and they sound, they smell pretty cool. And so you can sort of have like a relax mode and it will uh, have beautiful things on the screens. And, and it's, you know, it's kind of nice. And it's okay, it's luxurious. And see here, here it says, gives clients a sense of tranquility with the help of new connected experiences. Because that's why you buy a $60,000 SUV is to have a sense of tranquility. And I joke, but it, it actually is uh, really nice in that interior. They're really trying to raise the bar here. Uh, and they talk about the crystal-inspired details and the ambient lighting and the piano key shifters and toggles and audio knob that shimmer. Oh, boy. These press releases are really something. 5G, internet connectivity, and so you can have a Wi-Fi hotspot. And I believe that works through AT&T, which should be about $20 a month for unlimited Wi-Fi. Exterior LED, a nod to the future of luxurious travel, blah, blah, blah. So there are two powertrains here. There is a two-liter turbocharged engine and then a hybrid. So the two liters got 250 horsepower, 275 pound-feet of torque. And okay, fine. Those are perfectly acceptable. Uh, the hybrid adds to total system horsepower of 310. No plug-in hybrid, no electric. So it's just a regular uh, internal combustion engine and then the uh, hybrid. And they both have a fuel capacity of 20 gallons, which is pretty good. Uh, scrolling down, you get a couple of different uh, colors. They talk about, you know, red carpet, diamond red, whatever. Um, you can go on the website and see all of those. The black label theme, there's a couple of different themes you can get that are sort of the most luxurious. And um, honestly, the pricing is not bad. It starts uh, at $52,000 all in, and the actual build is available now on Lincoln.com. You can go build your own and figure out uh, how much you want to spend and all that. Overall, I really like the Nautilus. I think this is a really pretty car, and I'm 
very impressed. So there you go. That is the 2024 Lincoln Nautilus. This is a new thing for me to try and sort of walk through these cars here on the Prindle YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. If you drop a comment down below, let me know what you think of the Lincoln Nautilus. Is it going to revamp uh, the whole Lincoln ecosystem? What do you think? Uh, and if you like this video, drop a like and subscribe if you want to. Thank you so much for watching. Drive safely.